Okay, so yesterday I made a video talking about the new Roblox update, the one that's gonna be deleting all audio on the platform in about two weeks, March 22nd to be exact. And well, today, one day later, I've got some more information. And I was kind of hoping the situation was gonna get better, but actually it's kind of getting worse. I'll explain everything in this video. Now for the people that didn't see yesterday's video or you don't know what's going on, basically Roblox put out a post on the Roblox developer forum saying that on March 22nd, any new audio or sound effects or music that gets uploaded to the platform will automatically be set to private and then as well all existing audio on the platform that's over six seconds long will also be set to private with no way to set it back to public this is essentially just deleting the audio now as you might imagine this puts a lot of games at risk because if developers don't make the adequate changes in time for this deadline march 22nd a lot of roblox games will be going completely mute there will be no sound nothing on a lot of roblox games games like roblox piggy what's gonna happen to the jump scares what's gonna happen to the music i don't know Speaking of music, what's gonna happen to games like Funky Friday? Roblox also mentioned in their post that all the music and sound effects you use in your game now have to be owned by you. None of the music in this game is owned by the developers, so what's gonna happen? Is this game just gonna disappear off of Roblox? Is it just gonna be broken on March 22nd? Unfortunately, I don't really have an answer, but you can kind of see where the problem is. And on top of that, any games that are older and the developers don't actively work on them anymore, they will just be permanently muted and broken, and a lot of them may not even work properly anymore and there's just really nothing we can do about it now to say a lot of people have been angry at roblox about this would be an understatement that dev forum post that i mentioned earlier in the video well it's actually got over 2400 replies at the time of this video and almost every single reply is a roblox developer that is extremely angry and concerned about these changes and it's the same thing on twitter we've even got some roblox developers threatening to strike on the platform if if they don't change this which um it, it doesn't look like they are because um I found out some stuff. And shout out to this guy here on Twitter, Mr. Maximum ADHD. He tweeted out and said, as I suspected, the reason Roblox is cracking down hard on music right now is because of a class action lawsuit that they were handed on behalf of several music publishers. They're mad about people using the in-game radios on Roblox because they're, the, the bad word, <laughs> family friendly. And well, he actually found the actual legal document that Roblox got sued with. Well, let's take a look at it. So basically, if you don't know, last year Roblox got sued for over 200 million dollars by a bunch of music corporations and we didn't really know anything that came of that but it turns out this is what came of that so we've got an entire legal document here i'm just gonna go through and show you the relevant parts but basically all i know is i don't think this is roblox's fault i think they got sued and well this is actually the music corporation's fault for you know making this happen so right here it says roblox engages in copyright infringement on a massive scale by creating a centralized library of unlicensed songs Basically, they just mean that anyone can upload songs to the catalog. And while well, some of these can be copyrighted and it's hard for Roblox to catch them all, I mean, they do try. Roblox has removed copyrighted audios in the past. But obviously, they can't do everything. And well, just like with YouTube, just like with Twitch and other platforms, they can't have copyrighted music if you don't have permission. There's actually an entire paragraph here saying that obviously Roblox can do something about it, but Roblox doesn't. They have an entire platform of just user generated content that has a bunch of copyrighted copyrighted material inside of it. Now, some of the evidence that these music corporations is using is, is pretty funny, not gonna lie. They said here that the availability of unlicensed popular music on Roblox not only attracts paying users, but it retains them. Users regularly report that the availability of music on Roblox is what keeps them coming back. Basically, they're arguing that Roblox grew so big in part, in large part, due to this copyrighted music that they didn't have permission to use. And then they actually, for evidence, bring a customer review from Amazon that says, huh, this is my favorite music game ever. It's the only thing I ever play. Here's my Roblox username. So as evidence of this, they basically used an eight-year-old's Amazon review for Roblox, and apparently it worked, because here we are. Now, obviously, I think this is really dumb. There's just not very many people that would go on Roblox to listen to a Taylor Swift song. They would just load up YouTube and do it. And for the people that do, you know, like, these people make billions of dollars. Is a few hundred, is a few thousand, is a few million really going to make that much of a difference? Come on, man. Come, no, but it is what it is. That's how the music companies are. I, nothing I can do about it. Basically, though, this entire document then just continues to talk about how Roblox profits and makes money off of people uploading copyrighted music to the platform. They actually talk about the boom boxes, too. For anyone that doesn't know, this isn't going to work either. All the boom box game passes you bought, the jukeboxes, nah, it's not going to work either. The radios, that's, that's all going by. And apparently, you're also not getting refunded for that either. So that's a big rip. So the unfortunate 
unfortunate thing here is it doesn't look like there's much Roblox can really do here. I know Roblox has made a lot of really dumb updates in the past, but this seems like a pretty big no-brainer that it's kind of a bad update, and I think Roblox knows that. It's just unfortunately they got sued, and now they are legally obligated to just remove all the copyrighted stuff off the platform, maybe even more. Who knows what happened with the lawsuit? I don't think everything's made publicly available yet. So yeah, it's a really rough position. I, I think Roblox could be handling this a lot better, as they always could, but at the same time, it's also not really their fault either. So what's going to happen now? Uh, well, on March 22nd, a lot of games are going to come around. A lot of games are going to be broken. Who really knows which ones are, which ones aren't? Games like Funky Friday could just cease to exist and work correctly. It just all kind of depends, and it doesn't even look like Roblox has a lot of the answers right now because they haven't even been responding to people on the dev forum post about it. But needless to say, this is going to be a big change on the platform. A lot of games are about to be sounding a lot different. As always, though, thank you guys so much for watching. If I find out anything new or if Roblox says anything else about this, I'll definitely let you guys know. So make sure you subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.